Friday, Diva Brown taking a well-deserved day off today and Monday, actually. So here's Sid Sixero. I'll do my best right to hold it down <laughs> entertainment-wise, uh, but I will fail. So yeah. last night, I don't know how many of you caught this. Alec Baldwin sat down with George Stephanopoulos of ABC News, one of the best interviewers in the business, uh, for his first in-depth, on-camera interview about the fatal October 21st shooting that took the life of cinematographer Helena Hutchins and wounded director Joel Souza. This made international headlines. The gun he was holding, which Baldwin believed to be safe, went off during rehearsals in an incident that shocked Hollywood and prompted conversations about production safety and the use of weapons. I mean, I don't know why real ones are on sets anyway, but we'll talk about that in a second, D. In the interview last night, the actor claimed he did not pull the trigger on the gun. Instead, he said he, quote, let go of the hammer, end quote, on the weapon, then the gun went off. Baldwin also responded to comments by fellow actors like George Clooney, who said they check guns on set themselves all the time, saying that commenting on the situation, Baldwin said commenting on the situation didn't help at all. Quote, if your protocol is you checking the gun every time, well, good for you. My protocol was to trust the person that had the job. Baldwin says he doesn't feel guilty because someone else is, quote, responsible. Check out the clip. This was the one I will always remember from this interview. Roll. Your emotions are so clearly so right there on the surface. You felt shock. You felt anger. You felt sadness. Do you feel guilt? No, no. I feel that there is, I, I feel that, that, that uh, someone is responsible for what happened, and I can't say who that is, but I know it's not me. He trusted the team, and we saw earlier when you were talking, said he breaks down at one point. You he just did. see him sobbing. I, I do believe it, and my heart breaks for him. It's tragic that this happened. It shouldn't have happened. He trusted whoever's there to deal with that part of the business. It is rare to see something like that happen. It's unimaginable. I would feel guilt even if it's not your fault, right? Like if you're the one that actually by accident pulls that trick. The whole thing's horrible. I it's thought, so sad. I thought that was such a bizarre answer in that moment. Really? I thought to say, I mean, you, you did something where now a human being's not here anymore. Mm -hmm. And your answer was, no, I don't feel guilt. I just, mm -hmm. I, I, think, I think a lot of people in that situation would, feel would guilt. probably feel guilt. Yes. Is, and I'm not talking about the legalities of it. I'm not talking about civil, a civil case, any of that. Um, there were moments in that last night where I thought he looked very strange. Mm. And uh, what was also strange to me is, and we talked about it earlier with, with Melanie Ng, like there's still a criminal investigation going on. There's still civil litigation going on, potentially. This is a really strange time to be sitting down and doing an interview of that stature with one of the best interviewers in Stephanopoulos in news. Well, why do it so soon when there's still so much to happen in terms yeah. of the investigation? Because you're right, you're thinking, is he worried about being roped in for something that he's not responsible for? So he's like, it's not, my, you know, Mia culpa over here. Yeah. Or, or, or what is it? Because as a human being, how do you not feel some level of guilt? Even if it was like by, you trusted the people to make sure there was nothing in, was, in, in the gun. It was such it's a strange It's because of you, answer. well not because yeah. of you, because you. No, but you were involved, like involved. I, would, I could not imagine being in that headspace. Right. I could not imagine being in that situation. And again, there are, in the, in, in the defense of Alec Baldwin, there are people on set, in this case multiple people, whose job was strictly to make sure those situations around the guns during this Western they were filming Everyone was safe. That yeah. is that is their responsibility. Um, but in another interesting moment in that interview last night, and I encourage, uh, I encourage you to see it. Uh, it was only an hour. It was less with when you take the commercials out. Um, he was asked flat out by Stephanopoulos, "Do you think you're going to be charged criminally?" And he paused and he said, "I can't answer that." Mm. So that leads me to believe. There is another chapter to this coming that we don't know about yet, yeah. that from a PR perspective, he's trying to get in front of. There is no reason while this investigation is going on to do that sit down. True. Any PR person would tell you that's not a good idea, yes. especially with a guy as strong as Stephanopoulos. So this, this is not close to being over, is the impression I got from the interview. Al Baldwin was trying to do something last night. Yeah, he had barely talked to anyone about this. Why last night, I'm not sure. 
But this is we're not done with this. This will continue. But that was that was a fascinating watch. And he time. also said, I know from the earlier newscast, the local newscast, that he is never going to do a movie involving guns again, which shows there's obvious trauma. Well, he better not. There. Yeah. Right. He might not be allowed to be in a room with a gun by the time this is done. Like, who, I don't know. Who knows how this investigation yeah. is going to go? Yeah. Um, but that was, again, that was uh, the one everyone's kind of talking about in Hollywood last night. And if you get a chance to look at it, I would encourage it because it is you're trying to figure out the angle here on why he's talking right now. And I still, you know, 12 hours later, I don't know why he did mm, that. Interesting but point. To be continued. OK. Um, all right. You mentioned before the break. Yeah. A change.org petition urging the media to stop interviewing Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith so has collected 15,000 signatures. So me. The Stop Interviewing Will and Jada Smith page was created by user Dexter Morales in response to the Hollywood couple frequently oversharing intimate details about their marriage. In July of 2020, the couple came on to uh, Jada's Facebook show, Red Table Talk, to confirm Pinkett Smith's previous relationship with singer August Alsina, forgive me if I'm getting that wrong, which she called in one of the great quotes of the last two years, an entanglement, end <laughs> quote. Um, okay, Dina, have you had enough of seeing Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith air out everything in the public? Are you, are you done with it? Welcome to 2021 where we all share everything and overshare. Yes, we, we do, do it on this show, people do it on social media. Isn't that a wildly popular show? That's the reason it continues, and these huge stars yes, it is. choose to continue to overshare us because they have more eyeballs who love it and dig it and can't get enough. The appetite's there versus the 15,000. Those 15,000 people, if you hate it so much, don't watch it. Yeah. There's this, don't watch there's it. There's this thing now available where you can not watch stuff. That's right. If you want the option to not watch stuff, you have that option. Thank you. Do it anytime you want. It's free. There it no is. No charge. If you don't want to see it, you don't have to see it. Because it's not like the old days where you had 20 channels and you Four were kind of stuck watching stuff. Thank you. You know, you have that option. There's something for everybody. Yes. I find it fascinating when stars let you that in. I do, because it shows they're just people first. Even though they're very wealthy and they got a lot of power, they have weaknesses, insecurities, mm -hmm. like the rest of us. And then we get to hear words like an entanglement. Entanglement. <laughs> entanglement. Entanglement is something that would happen if you gave me a jump rope. <laughs> That's not, it's not something to describe a, a relationship transgression. Yes, yes. Come on. Or when decorating the tree. Yes. There's light entanglement. Well, there's, uh, we're going to take a break. There's okay. light in the next segment.